Welcome to What the Fuck News. I'm Robert Wood, and I'm going to tell you some wonderful things about what's up there in the sky. I'd like to keep you guys on your toes. Did you guys know that there was an artificial moon sent into space? Back in uh, October 27th, 1992. Now, I was in the military in 93 and never heard of this. And those of you people in 92, you must have heard about this. Russia did it. Now, Russia sent up a satellite. Actually, it's a satellite with a big ass, huge round foil kind of a thingy that reflect the sun straight back down. And they were successful. They sent a ray of light, just like that, uh, whatever weird ray beam or whatever beam, whatever, who cares, laser thingy. They sent it right through France, all the way up to Russia. A lot of people seen it. They were successful. And it was called the Zenamya. Zanyamya, Z N A M Y A 2, Zanyamya 2. And they also did it in, uh, again, in 1999. They sent another satellite, the Zanyamya uh, 2.5, whatever. Okay, so they sent this thing up into space and it was successful to try to simulate the actual moon and send uh, solar radiation down so we can have extra power. Now, hearing this, China, Dr. Wu, uh, researcher himself, Dr. Wu, I can't say his name, Chan Feng, blah, 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 who fucking cares? But anyway, I never heard of it. But this Dr. Wu says in 2020, he's going to do the same thing for China because they've got too many street lights and too much power being wasted. Not that those little white bulbs that we all had to switch to not too long ago was just, anyway, taking too much power. But they're going to send up a damn moon. China says they're going to do it in 2020 and in 2022. Uh, the problem is, well, not really a problem. They, what they said was they're going to send this satellite up into space about 300 miles. And it's going to suspend itself and then send extra light down by reflecting off the sun onto the streets of China in certain parts. Uh, Wu keeps popping up. Maybe Wuhan will get a little bit of that fucking light. But it keeps shining light down there and, and they don't need to worry about things. But there's a little bit of a problem because the nocturnal animals might not like having an extra sun light with an extra moon which is actually a satellite put up in this space but here's the problem they clearly said with all the Chinese mathematicians uh, one of the famous uh, physicians whatever his name is Tu Wong Hong or Tu Hong Lo uh, Dr. Tu Hong Lo says he's gonna send it up 300 miles but then Europe stepped up and said what the hell are you doing uh, European Asian whatever physicist his cousin Tu Wong Tu, tu Hong Hai uh, called up and said, China, you can't send it 300 miles up because nothing will be suspended up there at 300 miles. That's weird. Chinese that do bad math. But they said you need to do it to, uh, uh, hold on, it's not really the way, uh, 22,000 uh, miles up for it to be suspended. And even if you do put it up there, it's going to rotate around the back of the fucking turtle. So there's all kinds of problems, but China's going to do it anyway, they think. Lots of problems with that, but that's the whole weird thing. Artificial moons being sent up there. Again, the first artificial moon was set up by Russia on uh, 27th of October, 1992. And the second one was supposed to be, or it's going to be, or who fucking knows about China? They're in all your shit anyway. They're the ones who invaded the world, and they're the ones in charge behind the curtain. But who cares? That's a different story. They're going to send one up in 2020, which is this year, and I haven't seen anything go up yet. Um, also, at the end of this whole what the fuck, whatever scenario, because I never heard of any fucking artificial satellites ever going up at all, especially one that's going to be going up 300 miles, but not now, 22,000 miles, according to the new physicist. Shh, you can't send nothing up 300 miles. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to moon rocks. The last but least is the moon rocks. In 1976 was the last time they received the moon rock. And I worked at the Museum of Flight and never heard of any of this shit. However, I did get to see a moon rock and it looked fake as fuck, if I want to be honest with you guys. But 
According to what we have now, to present day, from 1976 to present day, we have a total of 382 uh, kilograms of moon rock. Where the fuck are they at? Um, also, uh, I want to make sure we go back to China because they were trying to cover with their artificial moon light uh, 31 kilometers across the uh, area. 31, 13. If you still go back and look at these numbers, also uh, the spacecraft in the back to the Russians, in, in, when it went up there with the satellite, the artificial satellite, the first one in 1992, it was its 33rd trip up to the uh, Mir space station. So we're screaming lots of fucking weird ass numbers here. I think it's a lot of bullshit. Now, Believe me or believe me not, do your own research and see what you guys want to see. I think this place is a whole lot of bullshit, especially when it comes to space. But I want you to have a wonderful day and always believe in something and keep your eyes in the sky because I'm having a what the fuck moment every other day and this is awesome. This is great with all the weird ass changes in gameplace world. Have a wonderful day.